What it do, what is up, my B Boss baddies and my Bob and fellas. It is your girl Bosana. Welcome, B Boss Army. So, as you guys can tell by title, today we're going to be talking about things you should never tell a woman. And of course, you guys can tell different hairstyle. I hope it's not too distracting. I know I have these little curls going on, so hopefully, it's not too distracting, you guys. But hey, we're here today. So, I hope everybody's enjoying themselves on their grind, on their purpose. And that's that. You guys go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now, please. It really helps my videos. If you guys know, I try to deliver. Okay, okay. Did you give it a big thumbs up? Okay, <laughs> all right. So, you guys, make sure you subscribe to my other YouTube channels. Links down below and check out my social media. And so, we start from three, go down to one. So, that means what? You gotta watch until the end to get the number one thing. So, number three. Now, hold up, hold up. Don't get it confused. I, I've been trying to make sure I say this in the beginning of my videos, but it's just not it's not happening. I forget. But don't get confused. Modern day woman we're talking about. This is the stuff you don't tell a woman that is modern day. We're not talking about, you know, old school type of female or a girl that has an old soul or something like that, like potential type of thing. Mm-mm modern day woman you don't tell them this because it's always gonna backfire okay and some of the stuff that i don't say you guys it's in the other videos this is not my first time talking about this topic so if there's more that you want to hear or there's certain stuff that you think there should be said go ahead and check out the other ones and you'll probably find it maybe okay so number three is i love you some of you guys probably expected that but i put number three I put I love you as number three because it's honestly something that is just so common and it could be number one because how common it is but number three I put it because I feel like you guys would already kind of know now once you say I love you to a woman you have given her all the rights you have basically just said I love you and then you added more to it because love is that strong so once you tell her I love you it's also you saying I give you the key so that means you can go ahead and you know show me what you want do what you want basically at this point I have these strong feelings for you and so you're in control and I say you're in control because when you deal with the modern day woman when I was trying to make it clear to you guys they are not gonna be those other types of females that were in the past the ones that will understand you the ones that hear I love you and will say I love you too because they actually do or even when they don't love you they'll still actually be there and see if it could get somewhere or actually tell you you know what well i appreciate that instead of laughing at you right so now when you deal with these modern day women and you tell them i love you all she's really looking at is okay well that's the easy way for me to go now because you love me and that means i have control and so there's gonna be something that you have as a man that she can benefit from and so if it's money that you got going on it doesn't even have to be status anything that she can say okay well this is enough to keep this man around she will go ahead and take full advantage and that's the sad part about you loving a girl not only the fact of oh you went ahead and told her but when you love someone you go ahead and what go ahead and show them you love them you show them the appreciation you know it's gonna be there and a woman of course knows that right especially a modern day woman with her schemes and being a slime and finessing guys and you know doing her little tricks up her up her sleeves and doing all these things to get what what she wants from these men right and so she's just gonna say this is a this is an easy ticket let's just say it like that that's an easy ticket easy meal when she needs you she'll call you and you're always gonna be there that's what it is you're gonna become a will <laughs> and y'all know will will and jada mm, let's talk about it and you guys if you wanna if i said if we wanna but i guess it's you and i <laughs> me and you you and i uh but if you guys want to do discussions i think that's really really, really gonna be good ideas because i already did some discussions and i've noticed you guys really like the discussions and like i like i said you guys at the beginning i hope my hair is not distracting anyway so let's go ahead and move on and if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Number two is you're looking to settle down. Now, I tell you guys from the jump, tell a woman what you want because this is the stuff that you have to lay down so you don't waste time with the woman. And so a woman doesn't try to say, well, this is how you met me or this is what you get, da -da -da -da, all this stuff later on. Okay, so I tell you, go ahead and say you have to tell somebody from the jump, all right? But when you deal with the modern day woman, right, and this is the parts where I tell you, if you're going to be a part of society, if you're going to deal with society, if you're going to be dealing with modern day woman, then you have to expect what it comes with. And we already know all this stuff based on seeing it first hand to hand and just watching videos about it. And so now when I say you're going to deal with society, your words are going to be so much more careful that you have to be watching. So all I'm trying to say is you can't be trying to do these little slick things or putting yourself at risk with the modern day woman because you're not going to have a chance to get away with it. And so when you tell her something like, oh, I want to settle down, I'm looking to settle down, instantly she's turned off. 
instantly oh that's what she wants or that's what you want that's not what i want because you have to take it like this what are modern day women doing what have you experienced as a man with modern day woman that has become so repetitive is it the fact that you tell her you tell a modern day woman oh i want to settle down and she says okay well i'm not ready she runs away or you tell her that and she sticks with you says i'm willing to for a good month got what she wants from you and now she's gone is it that there's always something right with modern day woman when you want to tell them something that is serious something that you want for the future right and so when you go ahead and say i'm gonna go against it go against what society is telling me to do because i have to do this so i can deal with a woman because i don't want to be lonely because i want to want to get a vijay i mean want to just get something from her like you just gotta do what you gotta do based on what you know from the game okay so stop stop being the sin stop being whatever it is that you know you shouldn't be doing because every time you notice these patterns you feel like it's gonna eventually change or you're gonna run into that girl that's gonna change it for you that's possible but the problem is if you want vijay j right if you want some punani if you want something if you want you know maybe just your dick suck then you gotta know that hey you gotta go and say certain stuff right even though it comes out to manipulating you have to say things that manipulate a woman's mind you have to tell her you make this much money so she can be like oh okay well the money that's what i want she hung she's hungry for the money but you got her to chase you because now she's chasing the money but instead it's all a lie yeah that's when you got to do what you got to do but here's the thing nobody can say anybody's at fault at this point because if a man goes and manipulates a woman and then he doesn't be the simp what's gonna happen oh he's at fault but if he became the simp the woman's gonna end up manipulating him so it's like you choose what side you want to be on as a man. If you want to be on the side of the guy that's a sin and a, hey, you know, he he's the one that every woman plays. He's the one that every woman can go to and hey, they use him up. You will be that guy. But if you know that this is society, this is how modern day women. And every time you tell a woman you're looking to settle down, she's running away or she's not feeling it or you don't ever get the reaction you want. What did you just think to stop to never, ever say it? right so that's something absolutely do not tell a woman you are looking to settle down if you ever come across hopefully one day i know you guys some of you guys still have faith but if you ever come across that person that is for you that woman that is for you it's a whole nother story but i'm saying now that you know how things are with women you got to maneuver different because those love things those showing emotions those things that women say that they want the modern day women say that they want but they never actually want you gotta know you can't be doing it's just that simple or you're going to get played, used, manipulated, become a simp, a big simp, and all that stuff that, of course, you guys don't want. And let's go ahead and get into the number one thing. If you guys have an idea, comment down below. And if you haven't given this video a big thumbs up, go ahead and do that right now. Did you do it? Did you do it? All right, you guys. So number one on my list for things you should never tell a woman is anything about your ex-girlfriend. There is so many things around this topic, this number one that I could say, but we're not gonna do that because it's gonna take the whole video. But first thing I think of when I say anything about your ex, a woman will use it against you. She will use it against you. Whatever you say, whether it's good or bad, she will use it against you. For an example, you tell her some good things. Let's just start off on the opposite side. You tell her some good things. Oh, you know what? She was actually a good girl, but it wasn't the right time. Da, da, da. Her. Oh, you probably still want her. Oh, you're probably like these guys. Instantly, she's going to put all these things and throw it at you. And that's because she probably has some healing to still do. She's broken. She keeps going back to that guy that keeps cheating. Like, all these wrong things. But now, because, you know, you're the guy, the nice guy, you're a little different than the guys that she deals with. Uh-uh, well, that's weird. Oh, you feel this way about that girl? Well, oh, you want her. Why are you talking to me, right? It's just going to become negative. It's not, oh, well, you know what? He respects his ex. Or, you know what? They ended ended things on a good term right she's not thinking like that okay boom another example so we talked about you're talking positive now you're talking negative let's say it was the opposite and now you're talking negative about your ex oh you know what she used to just cheat on me sleep with all these guys what is a woman gonna go ahead and do oh well it was probably your fault or you know what she was probably sleeping on these guys because maybe you have a small d or you don't know how to give her the d or you know what you're probably you're probably broke <laughs> that's probably what it is or do you think she's gonna keep just dealing with you if you don't have money or you went broke uh, well, yeah, because I held it down and when I did have money, I was paying for everything that she wanted, right? <sighs> it's 
society for you modern day women for you for you okay so that's how we're gonna wrap up you guys if you have any questions ask me um i told you guys that i will obviously give you guys what you want i say all that i need to say for you guys but at the same time these videos i want them to be straight to the point so i'm gonna still try to shrink them down if there's still some things that you guys want to tell me to help me out go ahead and do that it helps me out okay so give this video a big thumbs up like i've been saying and that's that you guys will see me in my next video bye y'all